Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to embroider regular Christmas stockings. These are just one dollar stockings from the Dollar Tree and I made one for each of my daughter's pets, Toby and Charlie, but you could make these obviously for anybody. They're very inexpensive to make. We're going to be making them on the EM1010 multi needle. Uh, that's how I made this one. And on the single needle machine as well, we're going to create this one. So I'm going to walk you through both machines so that those of you who don't have a multi-needle machine already, you can give this a try. I do want to mention that the EM1010 is on Black November special through the end of the month. The longer you wait in the month, the higher the price gets. But also if you use the link below the video, it will give you $100 off your purchase of a multi-needle if you're in the arena for that. They also have, I think, free shipping and 0% financing right now. Just wanted to throw that out there if you're interested. But we're going to walk through both of these. Again, these are just Dollar Tree stockings and I think they're so cute. These also make great gift wraps. If you just get somebody a small gift and you throw it in a stocking with their name on it, what a wonderful gift wrapping idea and they can use that stocking for years to come. So let's get started. So this is our setup. This is my supplies for the multi needle machine i'm going to use the recoma em 1010 i'm going to use some sticky stabilizer i'm going to use my eight in one hoop some water soluble uh, topping i've got my image printed out and my stocking over here we're going to do the single needle machine and i am using some sticky stabilizer water soluble topping I've got my image printed out and my stocking now if you're not familiar with sticky stabilizer i have two different um kinds here. I will link these in the description below. It just comes in different widths. It's basically the exact same thing. And then this is the water soluble topping. It comes in a roll and I just cut off a piece for each of them. So we'll get those out of our way. So let's start with the single needle machine. So on my machine, the hoop goes in to the machine in this direction. So I'd like to keep it oriented the same way. We're going to loosen our hoop. And then this is the sticky stabilizer. It has a paper side and kind of a rough side. This is adhesive when you pull the paper off. So what I like to do is just go ahead and cut it slightly bigger than my hoop. Paper side up. I'm going to stick it in the hoop. Trying to keep everything taut and tight. Uh, let's get it in there nice and tight. You're going to go ahead and tighten up your hoop. And then we're just going to take a straight pin and I'm just going to drag it around the edge, just like so, kind of like magic. And then you can remove that paper topping. and it will reveal that sticky stabilizer. You can, you can obviously take this off, the, the paper off before you hoop it. It just makes it hard for it to hoop. There we go. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, you'll notice on your hoop that there is a mark right here and right here to mark the center line. I'm just gonna line a ruler up with that I'm going to use a pen and I'm just going to mark that. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. There's a mark there and a mark there on my hoop. That just shows me where the center is. And I'm going to mark that. The next thing we need to do on our stocking is I have printed out my design from my software. And you can, most of your software will do this, but it's always a good idea. If you don't have a software and you're just putting the letters in on your machine, obviously you'll skip this step. And I'm gonna pin this down so it's back in place. So once we have that pinned back into place, I just lined everything back up, lift the cuff up, and I am going to, on my machine, again, it hooks on this side, so I like to keep the bulk of my project out on the opposite side. You can put it whatever way fits in your hoop. If you wanted to put it this way, you could. If you want to put it that way, you can. Whatever works for you. A lot of machines hook on this side, but mine 
is a Janome 500E. It hooks on this side. So what I'm doing to do is line up this mark with there, line up the center with the center line there, and push this down on the sticky stabilizer. And our stocking is now held into place pretty simply. If you want to add some more tape or if you want to add some more pens, go right ahead. I can add a little bit of painter's tape maybe just to the edge down here just so that it, the machine doesn't accidentally hit it and roll it up. We're going to be removing that paper at the machine. So I don't want to tape over the paper, but so now we have that all set and we've got room for our machine to get back in here. If you want, you can kind of pin this back out of your way. So now let's prepare our eight in one hoop for the Recoma EM1010 multi-needle machine. So again, we're using the sticky stabilizer. I'm using this eight in one hoop and we're going to need water soluble topping. I've got my design printed out. The first thing I'm gonna do is separate the paper from the um, stabilizer. This is the sticky side. On your eight in one hoop, there is kind of a side that goes up. I don't know if you can see that if I put this under there maybe. So this side kind of goes up right there. That's considered the top. So what I'm going to do is put the bottom on the sticky stabilizer just like so and I'm holding it tight so I'm just going to lay the hoop down on the paper so that it can stick once you have that secured you just want to make sure that it is stuck to the hoop really well you can fold these sides up or just trim them off whichever way works for you. All right, so for this one, again, I have pinned my design into place. Now I'm going to turn the entire stocking wrong side out. So the reason I pin that on there beforehand is so that I have, I don't get mixed up on the orientation of the design. So the stocking's completely wrong side out. So what I'm going to do is stick this hoop and it fits perfectly in here. I'm gonna stick this hoop inside, pull my stocking up, and get it to the center-ish. Try to keep it straight. Again, that's sticky, so you gotta kind of work around it. And then I'm gonna push it down. You want to make sure that whatever hoop you're using that you have enough give under here that's going to fit under the sewing arm. I'm going to use some tape and just tape down the edge of the stocking so that it doesn't catch on the machine and get lifted up mid sewing. Okay so let's take these over to the machine. So you're gonna unlock your machine using this lower left button, and then you're gonna click File. You're going to go to your flash drive. You're going to find your design. It's so the last one in my case, right here. And we're going to tell it to save it from the flash drive to the machine by clicking this button right here. Now we're gonna to go to the machine. It's usually the very last one. There it is. And we're going to click OK. Perfect. The next thing we need to do is tell the machine which hoop we're going to use. So we're going to click on design set. We're going to go to the hoops and I'm going to click other. I'm using the eight in one hoop and that's not a preset option. So then we're just going to click OK. All right. Now we know that this is going to go 
into the machine this way. So we need to turn our design upside down. So I'm going to click on this button with the Fs. So you just consider like if this wording was an F, which direction would we want the F to go? And it would be this one. We want it upside down. I'm going to click OK. All right, so now we're going to hit Escape. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and hoop our design. Now, I have this already set up for the 8-in-1 hoop. If you're not familiar with that, it comes like this. So this is a bracket, and the eight different hoops attach right into this bracket. You just loosen this, and then the hoop will slide right under that screw. And then it'll click right into place on those little notches. Then you just tighten it up. And then you just load it just like a regular hoop and then snap it into place. You want to be sure when you hoop it that the bottom of the stocking is under this arm down here. So there's the arm. Make sure that bottom of that stocking is under the arm so that you don't stitch the two sides together. I wanted to give you one more alternative because I bought four stockings from the Dollar Tree, three of which gave me plenty of room in the back to put under the arm of the Rakoma, and one of them didn't. So in case you run into that problem on this one, it didn't give me enough room to be able to move. So I was able to embroider it just by pinning this backside back out of my way and then just watching it as it's stitched. You could tape it, you could pin it, whatever you need to do. But like I said, three of the four worked fine. They fit under the arm, but this one, for whatever reason, is sewn just a little bit tighter and I didn't have quite enough room for the Rakoma to move. So I was able to still embroider it and just hold this back. So just in case you run into that issue. So the next thing we need to do is center our design. So we are going to click on the needles and we're gonna click one. Okay, so our objective is to get this needle centered right over that crosshair. So I am going to hit escape and then I'm gonna use my arrow keys and move the hoop so that that crosshair is lined up exactly with needle number one. So if I pull it down, I need to push the hoop forward a little bit. And now we are perfectly in line with that crosshair. So the next thing we need to do is pick our colors. So I'm gonna click on the colors. For step number one, I'm gonna use color number eight, which is my green. And for step number two, I'm going to use color number seven, which is my green. And we're gonna click okay. All right, so now we've got everything all set up. We need to trace our designs. So we're gonna lock the machine, hit okay. And we're going to use this button to trace it. So we need to make sure that this presser foot is not going to hit the frame at all. So I am feeling the frame and I'm going to click the trace button. I know that we're good on the top and the bottom. We've got plenty of space. I want to make sure that those sides are okay. So I'm going to click this button, which is a closer. It actually traces the actual outline instead of a box. And that way I can tell, and it goes a lot slower. That way I can make sure that it is not going to hit the frame over here. I'm feeling the frame with my finger. Yeah, we're good. Over here, I'm feeling the frame. Just want to make sure that we're not going to do any damage to our machines. All right, so now we can take our pins out, take our design out. Everything's lined up right where we want it. We need to add our water-soluble stabilizer. You can tape this down if you want. I'm actually just going to hold it into place. You could also just clip it on the sides right here. But I'm just gonna hold it into place as it gets going. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit start.
The first thing we're going to do is click on our design screen. We're going to click on file, which is the folder right here. And we're going to choose flash drive right there. You can see it's reading my flash drives blinking. And then I always click this up arrow because sometimes it'll open up in a folder and then I can't find my designs. So you can see I've got one of five pages of designs. So I'm gonna scroll over until I find the design that I'm looking for. And they go by hoop size. So this is the 20B and that's one of them. Let's see. Here's our design. We're going to do Toby. And you can see our design right there. So you can tell the first thing that our design needs to go this direction. And you can see it's going this direction. Whatever's happening here is exactly what's going to happen over there. So we need to rotate this. So if we go into this top menu right here, and if you don't see this circle with all the arrows, you can just use the scroll over buttons. But I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to rotate it 45, hit 45 again, and now it's going in the direction that I want. I'm going to click OK. Once that's done, you're just going to click OK. Click OK again. It's going to move the arm into place. I am going to add my hoop. So the first thing I need to do is line the needle up with the center crosshair on my design. So on the machine, I'm going to click this little button that has a spool and some arrows and then I'm going to very carefully move the hoop so that it is centered right over that design right over that crosshair that represents the center and it's right there I can drop my needle actually and see that it is right in the center of my design once I have that into place, I can remove my design because now I know it's going to sew right where I want it to. And now I can put my water soluble stabilizer right on top. And you'll want to use some pins or tape and tape that down. And now we've got that all into place. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and load my green thread. This is going to be in two steps. It's going to sew the Toby first and then the, um, the paw print. So I'm going to hit, go back. I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, and it's okay. It's showing me that this is step one. It's going to be the green and step two is the red. So I can go ahead and put my needle down and I'm going to hold it till it gets started. Make sure that this stays out of the way. And we're going to hit start. So here we are on the Janome. You can see I've got a message. It says to raise the presser foot. So I'm just going to hit oh, the X, raise the presser foot. And that means it's time for my next color change. You can tell here on the screen that it's ready for color number two, which is the red. So I'm going to remove the green, put the red in, and then hit start. <laughs>
you just fold it down and uh, there you have it. Now you will have that water soluble right in the middle of your letters. You need to make sure you get that out and in the middle of your paw if you put one on there. And if you can't get it out, you can just uh, spritz it with some water and it will dissolve. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. It's super easy to turn a ordinary Dollar Tree stocking into a beautiful gift idea. You could use this to wrap your gifts and then the recipient will have a stocking that is personalized to use at a later date. You can add them to your Etsy shop you can add them to craft fairs. Lots of great ideas, very inexpensive to make and a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there is a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.